What's up, YouTubers? Uncle John here, Serious and Silliness. Last week, I hope you watched the discussion debate I had with couples therapist Kendra Capalbo. It was pretty interesting. I made some valid points. She was, she was really good. Uh, she's a, actually a sweet girl. Uh, she made some valid points as well. But I think my points were put across, put across well. Um, the discussion slash debate was about uh, the decline of masculinity when we were speaking within the United States, but it seems to be spreading or advancing in other parts of the world too, uh, the UK, Europe, Australia. And basically my argument was that masculinity has a, a, a solid role in society and it is on the decline. And because it's on decline, um, boys are being, they don't have role models and they're not being taught how to be masculine, how to be responsible and how to be ambitious and assertive and so on and so forth. And the stats show, I think I had said in the debate that 90%, 90 something percent of male prisoners come from single family homes. I think a large majority of boys that come from single mother homes don't go on to college. A large majority of boys that come from single mother homes wind up getting in trouble on the street, so on and so forth. They don't have a male role model to look up to. They don't know what it is to be masculine and the responsibilities that it takes to be masculine. Anyway, so I found this article that actually proved my point. Um, I'm kind of happy it proved my point, but at the same time, this article is really disturbing to me. I'm sure it's going to be disturbing to you. Let me pull it up for you. Let's see. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Here it is. This is the article. Okay. School in Australia makes male students apologize for behaviors of their gender. All right. Parents say they were left completely mortified after a school in Australia told male students to stand up in assembly and apologize to their female peers for behaviors of their gender. Brower College in Warnimbool, Victoria. I apologize. I butchered that name of the city in Australia. I have no idea. Held the whole school assembly last week when they say boys were asked to stand as a symbolic gesture of apology for the behaviors of their gender that have hurt or offended girls and women. While the school says the move was well intended, parents and male students have been left furious with many speaking out about the event. Uh, let's see. Levy, 12. 12. He's 12. Told a current affair he felt a bit under pressure to stand up because he didn't feel like he did anything wrong or he didn't feel like a bad person. Meanwhile, another student, 15, 15, claims many of the girls probably didn't even want to stand uh, to say sorry to them. Vinny uh, also said that he heard girls behind him crying because they just got basically exposed to the whole entire school. So basically what had happened is the school had an assembly, made the boys stand up and apologize to all the girls in the school for behaviors of their gender. So behaviors of men that came before them and they had to apologize for it. And then we have to work and we have to wonder where masculinity has gone. So basically you're telling the boys that uh, you are less than, you are insignificant, you are beneath and you have to apologize for it because your entire gender is terrible. I mean, if this is not baffling, this just baffles me. And then this is, this was also, uh, this, this student Vinny says, many of the girls probably did not even want us to say sorry to them. Uh, he saw a few girls behind him crying because they just got basically exposed. So basically what he's saying is the few girls that actually did go through dramatic problems or dramatic events in their life when the boys apologized, they started crying. And now the kids know what girls went through dramatic experiences and what girls didn't. And they probably wanted to keep it a secret, but this was very emotional for them. So way to go, school in Australia and blah, 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 like Victoria Broward College. I mean, I mean, how is this, how does this help at all? I mean, that's like saying, me and my uh, cousin, we do a, um, serial killer. And we did one uh, episode on uh, Eileen Wuornos. Eileen Wuornos was a female serial killer who killed some innocent men. So now I want all the women in my life to apologize to me because of what she did, because she's a female and you're female and you know, you're responsible for that. 
Man, how does that make sense? That makes no friggin' sense. The only thing that this proves is that I'm right, is that masculinity is on the decline and society is really pushing the envelope on this. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know. Look, masculinity and men have a role in this world. We have a role. We are here to provide, to protect, and to lead. I mean, if you could point to all the terrible things that men have done in the past, you certainly could point to all the wonderful things that have done in the past, like, like cures for terrible diseases or um, the infrastructure that we built or um, the uh, advanced uh, mathematics that we have or engineering. I mean, why can't we applaud those great things that men have accomplished? No, we have to ignore it. And then we have to make 12 year old boys stand up and apologize for things that men have done, terrible things that men have done in the past. Does that mean women haven't done terrible things in the past? I'm, I'm not understanding. How is this good? What? And they said that the school said that this was, had good intentions behind it. I would like to know what the good intentions were. If you made girls cry who had dramatic situations actually happen to them and now they're exposed and you made boys confused. And even the girls were confused. I mean, I'm a, they're 12 years old. I got whatever. I mean, listen, the future does not look good for us. That's for sure. I mean, if we keep going down this path, then it's just going to get worse and it's going to get worse and it's going to get worse and it's going to get worse. <clears throat> and nobody of significance is saying anything. What me, maybe me, maybe Kevin Samuels or maybe a um, better bachelor or um, coach Greg Adams. Oh yeah. Wow. That's really YouTubers that have zero pull, you know, um, whatsoever. You know, it's just baffling that these things are happening. I don't know where we're headed with this. I don't know what the intention was. I don't know what good could come out of it. But I know that this is one of the reasons why masculinity is on the decline. There was that expression, uh, you know, boys will be boys. Well, I think that definition should change. Boys will be boys. Boys have to apologize to girls for nothing they did. This is really makes a lot of sense. Anyway, that's my two cents. Unless that's my opinion. I think my opinion is valid. I think if you saw the, uh, the debate discussion I had with Kendrick Capalbo, I think I, I, I stated clearly. I state things clearly, uh, how important masculinity is and how it is on the decline. Um, if nothing less, it's, it's an enjoyable listen. So check it out. But this basically proves my point. Even though it proves it, it's pretty damn disturbing and I wish it, I wish it didn't happen. And I hope this doesn't happen again, but I doubt it. Uh, it seems like all the first world countries are in, headed in the same direction. That's what it sounds like to me. Well, listen. I'll continue to bring you this stuff. I'll continue to bring you mainly stuff like my bodybuilding stuff and my powerlifting stuff and my funny guy talk stuff and my true crime stuff. So keep on listening and keep on watching. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. Say Uncle John. Uncle John knows what he's talking about. He's a real man's man. So check it out. All right. All right, guys, listen. I've been a little bit under the weather. I'm starting to feel a little better. So uh, I'll be back with some great interviews and some great content. And I will see you guys soon. Later.